other than walking into an airport and already being stressed out about somebody wanting to pat your hair because they think that things are in there, here are some tips that I think that you need when traveling with locks. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Essence of Shay. Let we go. So I was thinking, like I told you guys that I was going, I was to going to Atlanta for two weeks. Wait, what is that? Oh, you didn't know that I was going to Atlanta for two weeks. Do you want to know why you didn't know that? Because you didn't subscribe to the, my second channel, which would have told you that I was going there. Come on, y'all, go subscribe. I'll wait. Can we get into the video now? I'm going to Atlanta for two weeks. And we always have our basic necessities that we need for traveling, but we don't really speak about the necessities that we need for locks. Cause we can't just go all willy nilly. We, we're not gonna need a blow dryer. We're not gonna need a curling wand. We're not gonna need all of that stuff, but we do need some things. So I'm here to show you what we need. First things first, simple thing you need a silk scarf you need a silk scarf to wrap your hair even if you're on vacation or you're on business mode whatever it is you're still traveling you still need to protect your crown second thing bring a t-shirt for drying your hair remember i guys told you i told you guys this before t-shirts are good for drying your hair it absorbs the moisture really quickly without causing that much lint in your hair like towels can do in case you get your hair wet from like i said at the beach or wherever you're going if you're going on vacation the next thing you need is some gel so you can either use the diy flaxseed gels or this is the curls passion fruit curl control paste it's really good on my edges it doesn't hurt them it doesn't leave them flaky you need some gel because you need to slick them edges down baby unless you are like me who sometimes when you travel you go get your hair done you need some shampoo so what I have here is the Dr. Bronner's peppermint shampoo but whatever shampoo that you use you need for your locks you need shampoo Next thing you need is hair spritz which you guys already know um, for refreshing your hair, for moisturizing your hair, you guys, you guys know the deal. So you just need a travel size spritz bottle and you can either use my handy dandy rose water oil or you can use aloe vera juice. Whichever one you guys choose, you can even mix these together. And then for right now, for the purpose of this video, I have a few oils that I want to show you that you you because you have to put oils in the water i mean who's she telling you can't just put the water <laughs> i have rosemary i have peppermint and i also have jamaican castor oil so these oils are what i feel like are beneficial for my hair everybody's hair is different there's a whole bunch of oils out there that are very good for uh, the restoration, the moisture, hair growth, the to help with less breakage. There's a bunch of oils out there on the market. So you choose what's best for you and you use it in your hair spritz and you carry this with you because you can use this morning, noon, and night. Morning, noon, and night. Morning, noon, and night. And then you massage your hair with it so your hair won't get dry. The last little bits and bobs that I think you would need are like hairpins. Simple hairpins if you want to put your hair up, whatever it is. You guys know what hairpins are for. And last but not least is a bobo, like a, a rubber band, one of those big rubber bands that you could put your hair up and tie it, secure it, or you can use your lock and secure it. Make sure when you use your lock, you use more than one lock because if you continue to use that one lock to hold your hair up, that lock will start to get thin and the wear and tear will do some damage to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you to think about the things that you need to just throw in your suitcase when it comes to your locks because when you get to your destination, you'll be like, dang, I wish I brought this. Or I gotta go to Walmart. So see, you don't even have to spend the money now because you already have these things in your house. The most you'll have to spend money on is getting those travel size bottles to fill up or 
whatever whatever Trevor anyways I love you guys for watching let's get this to 50 likes comment below share this video subscribe so I know that you're enjoying my face and you're enjoying my content so I could keep pushing videos out to you and I'll see you guys next week see you later Tiger Lilies toodles